Hi everyone, happy Easter Monday. I thought I'd pull over and do a quick video. Um, it's Monday the 2nd of April. It's my beautiful mum's 70th birthday today. So happy birthday mum. And I'm going to be throwing her a bit of a party this afternoon. So I'll see her later. But this morning I've combined a few of my favorite things. I've just had a run with my brother-in-law which is really nice through the city along the river and it's been raining a little bit which is one of my other favorite things and I've had a coffee already which is one of my other favorite things and there was a fourth one and now I can't remember what that was oh yes I've been listening to the cure and I was hoping hoping that the song would play in the background while I was making this video <clears throat> which is the song by the cure called the forest which is a beautiful song but it won't play while I make a video but what I wanted to say was something about the power of the mind and the power of our thoughts it never ceases to amaze me although I do this work for a living uh, I've been building up my fitness a bit lately so to any woman or man out there who's in their 40s like me um, it's never too late well maybe it does get too late at some age but don't let age stop you don't let aches and pains stop you you can get a little bit fitter at any time um, and so I notice that there's a reality with our level of fitness if I get a bit fitter I can certainly run a bit further however slowly it might be but it's so much a psychological thing so that as soon as I have the thought I can't do this this is too hard I can feel the difference in my body whereas if I'm not having any thought if I'm having very low levels of mental activity and I'm just in the zone as they call it and just I can keep going and I can keep going but I do find that how you know it's so much a mental activity running like many many things in life and it's very much affected by where my mind goes what my head is doing what I'm telling myself and running has been one of the things in my life to show me just how powerful our thoughts are and how much power our mind really does have our thoughts create our reality in so many ways and our thoughts have a powerful effect on our bodies and so the better that we get at noticing our thoughts the better that we get at taming our thoughts and having some control or influence over our thinking it's life-changing it not only you know changes how we feel and how we perceive things and how our life tends to go and our relationships tend to go it actually has a profound effect on our body there's a TED talk worth checking out which I think is called the biology of belief and you know we know now more than we ever have before how much our beliefs and our thoughts are completely interconnected with our physiology and our biology so if you're not already into some kind of exercise whether it's yoga or martial arts or walking or swimming or something else um, I encourage you to consider finding some form of exercise not only for your physical health but for your mental health and as a bit of an experiment to just learn even more about how powerful your mind can be just noticing on good days and bad days whether part of the the, the thing that makes um, exercise harder or easier is where your head is at that's enough for me for today I hope you have a great Easter Monday and I'll see you again soon bye